go. 97 Cobra Kai Mustang. It's got a bad ball joint. Just like me, I got a bad ball joint too. My foot's all screwed up. Swelling went down. I bought a set of combat boots to try to hold everything together. This thing popped a ball joint. I ended up just cutting a block of wood and popping the ball joint back in the ball and just strapping it around like so. Because there's really no way to keep that ball joint in it. We had to tow it here. Any other way and the ball joint, the spring just pushes the lower control arm down and the tire just flops out. So that's all I could think of doing to get this thing here. I got a handy helper. It's his car and I don't want to do anything. So we're going to get this thing off a of dolly and do a ball joint. Ever since I hurt my foot, this guy's pretty much been living here, working on his stuff. He owns a lot of junk. His kids own a lot of junk. His friends own a lot of junk. I can have a, a lot of junk video. Oh, I already do. Do I not? Yes, you do. Ooh, fancy. Fancy twin cam, Cobra Kai. Okay, I suppose I'll just, um, I'll shift this thing outside for now. I gotta let the door open just a little bit. I'll try not to wreck your hood. Yeah, that'd be a good thing. Oh, there's a cool black car in my way. What do I do? You wanna give me a hand with it? I got it. Don't ever try that. You'll probably wreck something. I've had practice. I'm a professional. It's kind of stuck. Yeah, it is. Let's not do it that way. Good idea. I'll try to be smart. Well, that was uneventful. Ooh, the ball joint didn't pop off. Yeah, that's odd, isn't it? Why? Danger, danger. Wow, really? It kind of didn't stay in. <clears throat> There you go. Oh, it's just because the shock's pushing all the way down on it. It's down. It's yeah, that's that's a piece of junk. So I'm just gonna lift this up and swing this out of the way like this. There's a brake line that I don't want to stretch too much. Um yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna actually use a ratcheting strap and pull this out of the way somehow. I probably should have loosened that nut up while it was still in the socket. But, uh, yeah, okay, that's how I'm doing that. This is a 24 millimeter. I'm going to put a socket on here, and the shock's kind of in the way because it's a wonderful Ford product. And of course it's going to be very, very stuck because it's a wonderful Ford product. This is stupid. i got to put this back in the ball. Somehow I'm going to edit this video and it's going to make me look smart. <laughs> well, you're good at editing, so... <laughs> Jesus, wow. Okay, I'm going to turn the wheel and hopefully it'll pop back in the socket. There it goes. Uh, now I'll be able to get that bad boy off. Uh, nothing a little jack pole action can't get off. 
few good whacks with a hammer should loosen that up if I'm lucky. I got a ball joint press here. <clears throat> You're going to need one of these to do this job. Um, if you don't have one, you can rent one. Them come pretty cheap at Harbor Freight. The aftermarket sockets, they usually have like a, a clip on these. And there's probably going to be one on the one that I'm going to be putting in. But there's no snap ring on it. So this one will just press right out. And um, I'm going to sit around and drink my coffee and let him figure out how to do it. I'm game. <laughs> Tell me what to do. <laughs> Grab that <laughs> and find some <laughs> to push that <laughs> out of there. Uh, I'm not telling you what to do. You need to be me for a little bit. You <laughs> figure it out yourself. <laughs> How do you like me now? Don't know yet. We'll find out. I had to figure all this out myself. I didn't have anybody hold my hand, so yeah, I had a buddy. <laughs> Don't bump my camera. Yeah, You're yeah. You're gonna be yeah. a rock star and all. The helicopters are going to be coming for you. Not for me, man. You know that. <laughs> they won't be coming for me. <laughs> Something like that? You tell me. I think That's so. Cool. We'll see if it works. Figure it out. Okay, he pretended like he knew something. Now we're gonna go get some ball joints. That's what I always do. Okay, I have some cheaper version of a Moog or something that has no clip in it. And it's not greasable. And it should be okay. Um, these things won't go in though because this boot is actually larger. So I gotta take this boot off. And one of the first things I want to do, this is knurled and the factory one's not. So I'm going to want to measure this and I want to see how much the difference is. And I'm at uh, 1944 four, and this one's at 1933. Three. So it's 10 thousandths of an inch difference and that's, that's actually pretty good. Um, once in a while I get these and they're like totally freaking huge and I actually got to sand them down a little bit Grind them down just a hair But I, I think a ten thousandths press fits gonna work for me because it is a stamped lower control arm So I'm gonna take this off. It's got it's got a spiral ring in it so I just got to Get this spiral off and over the boot without tearing it and then I gotta put this dumb thing back on when I 
after I put the ball joint in. Since it's here too, I might as well find the right tools to punch this in. I'm gonna need something that's a little larger on the top. So that one's gonna work. And then on the bottom, oh wow, that's just a little bit right. Yeah, we're doing ball joints on the other side too and I, I couldn't separate the ball joint from this with a pickle fork for the life of me. So I just kept on whacking on this with a hammer real hard after the nut was off until it felt like falling off. Took about 20 good wax. Good strong wax. Just did that to hold it in there a little bit. This ball's not straight. The trick is this thing's got to go in as straight as you possibly can. You can't have it going in crooked. Oh my gosh. This tool's broke. I don't know what I use this on, but there's a nice size crack in the thing. Wow. I got another one in a Harbor Freight kit. A cheap adapter set. I'm going to try to find that. I made this one for working on something other than this. Looks like it's going to fit better. It's a little bigger than the other one. Yep, I just got to keep an eye on it. Make sure it goes in straight. It's all square. It went in there really nice. I don't think it's going to go up any farther. It's all the way tight. I just want to whack this with a hammer a few times and make sure it's seated all the way. So after this clamp is tight and I hit it with a hammer, that's like a lot of extra force. It looks like it's all the way up there. I don't want to do that too much because if I do I can mushroom this out and then the ball joint will fall out. So I'm just going to leave it. Should be really tight. Yeah, that's all the way in. Looks really nice. Yeah, I should wipe some of this grease off of here because I got a little dirt in there. Get a little Q-tip action going on and just get a little bit of this dirt out of here I got in here. I just gotta lift this up and get that in there ball. Oh, I'm playing my music in the background I gotta edit out. Somebody will be able to hear that to start guessing what kind of music. And I'll get some copyright strike for some cool hate music. Okay, I'm going to want to jack up this lower control arm. And one reason why I want to get this all the way up here is to make sure that this ball seats into the steering knuckle so when I go tighten the thing down, the ball doesn't turn. So that's as far up as it'll go. I'm going to put this nut on now and I'm supposed to Apparently I'm supposed to torque this to 129 foot-pounds if you can get a torque wrench under here. I'm just going to get it good and tight. Good old-fashioned wrench on a wrench trick ought to work for this. I'm going to call that good and tight. Okay, it's a ball joint job. Torque to 100 foot-pounds. Okay, bye.